In today's explainer, we're going to tackle Joplin versus Standard Notes. Now, both of these are really powerful, secure, open source note taking apps with fantastic communities. But, and this is the key, they have totally different ideas about what a note taking app should even be. So, let's just dive right in. You know, the choice between them really boils down to one simple question for you. Are you looking for a super powerful, feature-packed tool that you can tweak and customize forever? Or do you value simplicity and just, you know, ultra-secure purity above everything else? Your answer is going to point you directly to the perfect app. Okay, so let's set the stage. In one corner, you've got Joplin, which is kind of the spiritual successor to Evernote, built for absolute flexibility and a ton of features. And in the other corner, you've got Standard Notes, which is all about privacy first and a super minimalist experience. It's really the tinkerer versus the purist. All right, first up, let's talk about Joplin. I want you to think of this as your digital Swiss army knife. If you're coming from a tool like Evernote and you want something that can pretty much do everything, well, this is where you start looking. What jumps out at you right away is just the sheer amount of flexibility here. You get a really powerful markdown editor for all your formatting. You can attach basically any file you want, PDFs, images, you name it. And you can organize everything into these complex nested notebooks with tags. But here's where you get the real control the sync. You can use something you already know, like Dropbox, or, and this is huge for some people, you can sync it to your own server using Nextcloud or WebDAV. And no matter which path you take, everything is always end-to-end -end encrypted. But here is the real secret to Joplin's power. As XDA developers points out, the app itself is great, but it's the community-driven plugins that turn it into an absolute productivity beast. This is where the real customization begins. With plugins, you can completely change how you work. For instance, you can install something called Conmug and turn a basic to-do list into a visual Kanban board. If you're always writing up the same kind of meeting notes, there are template plugins for that. You can even open multiple notes in tabs, just like a web browser. And for those huge, long-form notes, the Outline plugin gives you a clickable table of contents. I mean, this is serious power user stuff, and it's all completely free. So what's the catch? What's the trade-off for all this power? Well, some people find the user interface to be a bit more functional than it is beautiful. It's not as polished right out of the box, and getting everything set up, especially things like the plugins and self-hosted sync, does have a bit of a learning curve. It's really built for capability first, not necessarily for pure simplicity. And now, for something completely different. Let's talk about standard notes. If Joplin is a workshop that's just full of tools, standard notes is more like a clean, minimalist, unbreakable vault for your thoughts. Its number one non-negotiable goal is security. Standard Notes is built on this really powerful idea called zero-knowledge architecture. So what does that actually mean? Well, it means their servers are designed to be, for lack of a better term, dumb. They're built so that nobody, not a hacker, not the government, not even the people who work at Standard Notes, can read your data. They just store an encrypted blob of information that they don't have the key to unlock. That's their core promise. And this isn't just a technical feature. It's really about peace of mind. As one G2 user put it so well, it's like having a truly private diary that you can get to from anywhere and you have total confidence that your thoughts are for your eyes only. That feeling, that's the product. Okay, but here comes the catch. The free version of Standard Notes is, well, intentionally limited. It's just plain text. No bolding, no italics, no images. And this is totally by design. Their philosophy is to give you that core promise, the unbreakable private vault for free forever. If you want more advanced tools like markdown editors or different themes, you support their mission by subscribing. So this brings us to the head-to-head -head comparison. When we look at the cost and how you can customize each of these apps, their completely different philosophies just become crystal clear. I mean, just look at this table. It makes the whole thing so obvious. Look at Joplin on the left, the main app, advanced features through plugins, even hosting your own sync, it's all free. The entire model is built on openness. Now look at standard notes. The secure base app and sync are free, but pretty much any advanced feature from rich text to themes is bundled into their paid plan. You're not just buying features, you're paying for a curated, professionally maintained and super secure ecosystem. At the end of the day, it really boils down to two different philosophies on how you extend an app. Joplin's power comes from its open, vibrant, community-driven world where anybody can build and share a plugin. Standard Notes, on the other hand, takes more of a walled garden approach. Its extensions are professionally developed and curated to make sure they meet the exact same high security standards as the main app. One is all about freedom and community. The other is about control and assurance. So how do actual users feel about these two different approaches? Well, according to data from Tech Jockey, both apps are very, very well liked. But Standard Notes has a little bit of an edge in its likelihood to recommend score. And that kind of suggests that the people who choose its focused, secure path are incredibly happy with it. 
They get exactly what they signed up for, simplicity and total peace of mind. Okay, so let's wrap this all up and help you find your perfect fit. Because the best app isn't about which one is better in a vacuum, but which one is better for you. You should choose Joplin if you're a power user or a tinker at heart. If you want a free alternative to Evernote that you can customize to no end with plugins, and especially if you value having 100% control over where your data is stored, then Joplin is, without a doubt, your champion. On the other hand, you should choose standard notes if you're a privacy purist or a minimalist. If your number one top priority is security and you just want an app that works right out of the box with zero setup, giving you a clean, distraction-free space for your thoughts, then standard notes was literally built for you. So let's just boil it all down to one simple choice. You choose Joplin for power, for flexibility, and for endless customization. You choose standard notes for simplicity, for absolute security, and for peace of mind. Do you need a workshop or do you need a vault? And that really leaves us with the final question, doesn't it? There's no wrong answer here, but your choice really defines your workflow. Do you want endless features right there at your fingertips? Or do you want the absolute peace of mind that comes from unparalleled simplicity and security? The best choice is just the one that lets you think clearly.